Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the disappearance of Errol Wagner. He went missing. It says September 20th, 1975. Pinehurst, Georgia, aged 23 to 25, 5 foot 4 to 5 foot 6, anywhere from 125 to 200 pounds. He was a migrant worker from Belize, last seen cashing checks from work at a local bank. Him, he's not been back in contact with his family in Belize since 1975. I don't know when he actually ended up being reported missing or who reported him missing. Brown hair, brown eyes, a ship anchor, tattoo with red and white snake on right forearm. And it looks like maybe he was a pilot because he's standing next to the plane, but I'm not sure. And we're going to look at some John Doe's to see if you think any of them might be him. We have this man found in April of 1975. And like I said, I don't know where they got their dates from because it just says down here that the family hasn't been in contact with him since 1975. And I do believe this is probably somebody else, but I'm leaving it in there. Uh, found in Cordell, Georgia, 18 to 23 years old. Estimated year of death, 1974 to 1975, about 5 foot 5. Remains found in a wooded area near Coney Grove section of Crisp County, 1.8 miles west of Coney Road and about a half a mile off the county. Maintained road, brown hair. Says the hair is light brown with a reddish brown, so I don't think that could be him, but I decided to leave it in there. Then we have this man found in Broward, Broward Florida, age 25 to 40. Uh, 1973 to 1975, estimated PMI is two years. Uh, five foot seven, found one mile east of US 27, south of Griffin, Griffin Road. And there is a sketch that they did. And then we have this man found in North Carolina, 1980, age 23 to 24. To 35, estimated height, measured height, 5 foot 5. And let's see. Can I estimate weight? Light to medium build, probably early 30s. White male was located in a wooded area, 4 miles north of Rowland. Brown hair, light brown, long hair. Small size underwear, right turtleneck, shirt size 18, chest 34, cotton undershirt 38 to 40. Old navy blue t-shirt, size 18, chest 34, pair of blue jeans, 30 by 32, one pair of white thermal underwear, size 34 to 36, and a white handkerchief. And they have their image there. There was um, a man, young man in Atlanta, Georgia. Found October 5th, 1976, age 18 to 30. Estimated PMI was only minutes. And he's a bit too tall to be him, but I decided to leave him in there. 5 foot 10, 230 pounds. Jumped from a height in a lobby. Um, appearance suggested Mediterranean background. Not recognizable traumatic injuries. Brown hair with some frontal receding. Brown eyes. It doesn't mention a uh, tattoo similar to that either. A uh, blue pullover golf style shirt with green alligator on left chest pocket. Lee brand blue jeans, tan windbreaker jacket with Saks Fifth Avenue label, brown belt with brass buckle white socks with orange and black rings on top. A uh, brown plastic frame, reading glasses, white Adidas, tennis shoe size 10, white gold constellation chronometer, Tiffany and Company Omega. And scar over posterior aspect of left triceps arm, but I don't see that tattoo mentioned, so I don't think that could be him. And Dalton, Georgia, February 27th, hold on a second, 1978, uh, age 26 to 36 years old. Uh, uh, estimated year of death is 1977 to 1978. Height, 5 foot 7, um, 155 pounds. 
skull and several bones found scattered in secluded area on Mitchell Street in Dalton, Georgia. White t-shirt, blue jeans, brown socks, red and white boxer shorts, green pajamas, size 42 to 44. Box with miscellaneous clothing, 34 length black belt. Torso not recovered, one or more limbs not recovered, one or hand, more hands not recovered. Uh, brown hair, unknown eye color. So it mentions the clothing, but if he did have a tattoo and if it was him, they wouldn't be able to see the tattoo, so that one's a possibility. Um, we have a male uncertain of the race found December 6, 1978 in Merriweather County, Georgia, age 21 to 47 years old. Can I estimate the height or the weight? Not recognizable, partial skeleton parts only. So, and I'm not sure how far Meriwether County is from Pinehurst, Georgia. Let's see. And then we have someone in Forsyth County, Georgia, found October 20th, 1981. And they're not sure if that's a male or a female. They're not sure of the race. Age could be anywhere from 20 to 90 years old. So, circumstances of the death are unclear. Additional information is forthcoming. Partial skeleton parts only. So, brown weather, brown leather work suit. And like I said, I don't know if any of these could be him. I have no idea what might have happened to him. If he was a pilot, you know, I don't know if he was or not. But, like I said... He could have been working there. He could have finished the job. He could have traveled somewhere else and something could have happened. It's just, just in a way of knowing. And I don't even know when he actually got reported missing or who reported him missing. So if you have any information of what happened to this young man, maybe you knew him, maybe you worked with him, maybe you remember him. Any information at all, please contact authorities and let them know. You never know what kind of information they may not have. So please feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to pray for his family and his loved ones. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.